Let's take a look at command line concepts, redirecting both standard output and standard error. Let's begin with a command that prints to both standard output and to standard error. In this command, ls is instructed to output a list of the contents of two directories, etsy x11 and xyz. Directory x, etsy x11 exists, and ls therefore prints a list of its contents to the standard output stream, which by default is attached to the screen. On the other hand, directory slash xyz does not exist. ls therefore prints an error message to the standard error stream, which is also attached to the screen. Using the output redirection operator and the error redirection operator, we can redirect standard output to one file and redirect standard error to a different file. We can examine the contents of foo.txt and observe the results of the ls command that were printed to the standard output stream. Likewise, we can examine the contents of bar.txt and observe the error message of the ls command that was printed to the standard error stream. Sometimes it can be useful to redirect the standard output and standard error streams of a command to a single file. This can be useful if we wish to capture all of the output of a command. To redirect both standard output and standard error from one ls command into the same file, we can use the redirection operator ampersand redirection. Observe that the file baz.txt now contains all results of the ls command, both from standard output and from standard error. We can also use the double, left, double angle brackets redirection operator with ampersand to append standard output and standard error of a command to a single file. We now examine the file. Note that the file still contains the original contents, as well as the results of the new command. The results of the new command, both standard output and standard error, have been appended to the file. 